Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ZBN Podcast. This is episode 30. I'm your host, Spiegel. We with me today, I have Hex Tupel Udot. Hey, you guys. Zyber. Hey, what's up? And joining us for the, spe- for the special time with the special guest, we have special guest. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he got second place in the user question contest. Everyone, welcome. Smeerg, ladies and gentlemen. Smeerg has joined the show. Hello. Smeerg, what is up? Welcome. Um, not much is up, but I'm really excited for this. You sound like you were just, for a while. you sound like you're bursting with excitement. I'm attempting to contain it. Yeah, let's, um, so we actually, so, uh, we're all very excited actually because E3 is coming up soon. So we all have something to be excited about. E3 is going to be awesome this year. Yes. Mm, maybe mm, I'm scared. Faith. What are you scared about? You don't even play games anymore. <laughs> Because I played Splatoon last night. I think I saw you. Did, Did you I see you? I saw someone. Oh yeah, named I, Shay. yeah. You know what? I joined your I joined your match, and gotcha. I tweeted at you that I was going to splat you really hard, and you didn't tweet back. Yeah, so. yeah I wasn't on Twitter because I was playing. So. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, should we start the show with a little Splatoon impressions? Like, what sure. do we think? What do you all think? It's um, it's it's great. I love it. I couldn't stop playing. I was playing last night. I was like, I really need to finish editing this video. But I want to play more, so I ended up staying up till five. So that was fun. <laughs> Actually, I stayed up to like seven. Did Splatoon kind of become a self fulfilling prophecy for you? Like you knew you were gonna love it, and then you came out, and then you loved it. Yeah, basically. I mean, I I knew I loved it from the demo, but being able to like change my gear and stuff like that just adds one more level of excitement for me. So yeah, I was like super pumped. And uh, I'm level 7 now, I think, which is not a lot compared to some people who are already maxed out at 20. Like, goodness. What in the world? Nerds. How long have you been playing? Have you even slept? Have you stopped since you <laughs> got home? I don't understand. No, is the answer to that. What about uh, you guys, Cyber, Smear, whatever? I haven't gotten the game yet. What? That's Neither just... have I, what? but like... Okay, <laughs> you guys are, you guys so are both off the, the show. Game. I played the demo in those um, global test fires. I was really struggling with the controls, and I've been weighing back and forth whether or not I want to pay full price for this game or not. Yeah, um, I, I don't blame you for that. Like I was complaining about this with uh, Piddle. I was saying, like, you know, why is Nintendo doing this thing where I now have to pay sixty bucks for an incomplete game? That isn't that what the other companies do that we always complain about. <laughs> And that's yeah. kind of what this feels like because we know that it's not complete. We know there's content coming and you can't even play all the maps at once and there's you can't pick your map and you can't pick your mode. It's just turf war. And I don't know. It's just... Th- there's a lot of stuff that I love about the game. Like, I love its style. I love its music. I love the gameplay. But as a whole, it feels incomplete to me right now. Yeah. That's exactly what I was worried about, yeah. Yeah. And, like, haven't other countries gotten it at a reduced price compared to other Wii U games? Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Was it sixty dollars then? Well, it was sixty dollars here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, um, but one thing is, um, the game has been a massive success in its first couple of days for sure. In terms, like this game is getting so much attention and so much exposure. Um, je- in Japan, it's selling like gang bu- gangbusters. It's already sold out like across the entire country, which is crazy to me. Whoa. Nint- yeah. Did you didn't hear about that? No, I didn't. That's yeah, so that's crazy. It's getting some pretty massive success in terms of uh, what it is. So I'm I'm actually really excited to see the numbers, and I hope it's successful because even though it's not like a perfect game, the fact that it was a risk for Nintendo to put this out, and the fact that it is achieving basically all it set out to do is is very impressive, and that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, like it it is a bum. It is a bummer for me that the it's game a bum. is kind of. <laughs> it is a bummer for me that the game is kind of incomplete going out the gate, but. Honestly, it's like I don't even care how incomplete it feels because when I play it, even just that one mode, I still can't stop playing it. So yeah, so I mean, there's something to be know. said for that, I guess. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. So Splatoon. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that you guys hadn't played it. That's that's disappointing to me. But uh, you you get it eventually for sure. If you're not going to get it right now, you get it uh, get it pre-owned for a little cheaper. 
maybe further down the road it's going to be a more complete game and it'll be it'll be a blast it's it's fun now and it'll be fun then i'm sure was the uh <laughs> well yeah. best of luck to you you'll have e3 to tide you over with some stuff for sure so hopefully um, i'll use the money i get this weekend at work to get it yeah uh you are you working a lot this week um two days get okay, that plan. get that pizza every there. week uh, i also got 30 dollars from my um game tournament i held last week so i'll use that too how did that go regale us with your stories well not that many people showed up as last year but that's because we did horrible in advertisement but we ended up setting up a Facebook group about Sounds it. Sounds like a company people. I know. Sure. Okay. All right. I was hoping for a laugh. Then. <laughs> and so then I got first place in singles and doubles tournament. Good. So it's kind of boring. Well, that's bad, but that's don't you feel like it? Don't you feel like it'd be awkward if you set up a tournament and then you win the tournament? It was pretty awkward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like my friend and I, we got first and second singles and then first on doubles. And we're all like, we're the hosts of this tournament. We shouldn't be winning. It's like when Tiger Woods does his thing and like he always like gets like last place. Whoa. Whoa. I just sorry, got on spo- Twitter. Sorry, sports reference. I, I just got on Twitter and Smear, I congratulate you on making quite a great <laughs> render of Maxwell. That is awesome. Thank you. What, what is going <laughs> on? on Twitter? We're talking here. Are we looking at this? I was about this? to tweet out that I'm recording a podcast for the ZBN. Isn't that Are we good? looking? Yeah, that's a good thing. Finally, some exposure. <laughs> um, are we? Uh, are we looking at what Smirg did right now on the screen? Is this sure. a visual aid? Uh, oh, Future Omni, put it. that on screen. Fu- Future Omni, we need a visual. Also, here's a monkey that Chris wanted to show. Oh, gosh, <laughs> <laughs> no monkey. Chris was very upset about the lack of the monkey in last in last week's show, and I'm like, get over it. It's just a monkey. <laughs> Uh, so, um, the main reason we are here today is to record a podcast and this podcast is actually a very special one because this is our first, uh, official ZBN E3 predictions podcast because last year we did not have a show, um, before, like during E3, this is the first full year of the ZBN. So welcome everybody. Um, hope you enjoy our predictions. We're going to do Nintendo mostly because that's what we do. If you listen to Effortless, Piddle and I already like went over everything, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of predicting today. This is their show. Let's hear your guys' predictions for E3. Anyone, just go shout one out. Let's let's hear a um, radical prediction. Animal Crossing. That's not radical. Shut up. That's going to happen. You, I was hey. thinking it before you said radical. Okay. <laughs> Lucas DLC will be revealed the date. Ryu in Smash. Wow. That's, no, that, that's radical right there. Roy and Ryu. I don't know if I believe the whole they're in the game thing. Even though the files are very telling, uh, I still don't know if I really believe it. I'm skeptical. Not sure. I think they will announce something related to Smash DLC. They, they're they not going to go the whole conference without mentioning Smash. Oh yeah, of course not. I mean, I don't know that they have enough material to get away with not mentioning Smash, honestly. Do I'm you really feel scared. like... Do you feel like this is going to be a dry year for Nintendo, like for the rest uh, of the year? I don't know. It's hard to say because like they're kind of stretching the news of what they like announced from last E3 all the way up to this point. And I guess maybe that's just because that's how they deliberately scheduled it. But the fact that we're not going to see Zelda scares me. And Do I just you think hope... we're not going to see Zelda? Well, they said that, so I have a right to think it. I know. I understand. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit concerned, but we've got like two weeks before it starts, so maybe they can drum up some uh, faith in my brain or whatever, wherever faith goes. I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, well, I was I was just gonna say like they you you're definitely right about them stretching out stuff like stuff we saw last E3 probably gonna be here again. Games like Yoshi's Woolly World um, that'll probably be at this E3 again. Mario Maker for sure. They're definitely going to be pushing that one this year. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles X, we're going to see a lot of probably as it's it's almost... I, I'm hesitant to use the phrase, but it, it feels like they're going to try to make it a Zelda replacement. Um, and then, of course, Star Fox, which we haven't really seen yet, so we'll see that. Uh, and then after, the, after that, I mean, there's other games that they might show, but those are probably the big four. Yeah. The Fire, the Fire Emblem game for 3DS. Fire Emblem If. <laughs> yep. I hope we get to see like 
Yoshi footage in Mario Maker because they were teasing that on the website a while ago that Yoshi would somehow be incorporated into it. I think it'd be crazy to see an 8-bit Yoshi, but sign me up for that. Like how they're doing all the art of the um, the characters that were not in the original Mario Brothers, uh-huh. like the wig- the Wiggler and stuff like that. That's cool. I like that. So uh, that'd be interesting if they if they retroactively add Yoshi to S- Super Mario Brothers. I just hope they do a good job with the pixel art because I'm not super happy with some of the uh, retroactive sprites that they've created. But I'm super picky about that stuff. <laughs> Anything in particular? Um, I remember being a little bit underwhelmed with the way they did the chain chomp i think it was but other than that i can't really think of anything specific but i don't remember I don't know. whatever it'll so be let, fine let's, let's take it back a little bit so you said animal crossing i assume you mean for wii u right yes and is that coming out this year uh, maybe no i don't know it's hard to say because they said zelda was going to be this year so i don't know what they're pipeline looks like anymore i'm not sure if you saw this um sorry to interrupt but i'm not sure if you saw this article or like there was a quote from like one of the people who was in charge of happy home design and they they were asking him like if we'd see a new animal crossing game at e3 this year he's like well we are working on happy home design so there's that and that's all i can say Hmm. and that quote seemed very telling to me i think we're definitely going to get animal crossing this year and i I think you're right yeah I saw that quote. I didn't really take it one way or the other. I before Happy Home Design was announced, I was really solidly expecting like a new Animal Crossing to come out soon for the Wii U. But now that that's a thing, I don't know. I feel like that's almost like it. It feels like a mini game that you can almost like connect it to your Wii U and use that in some way. Like that's Maybe. what they. That's what it might end up. Like that, it might have that functionality. Yeah, and now that they're producing like those Animal Crossing amiibo cards. Ugh. Gotta buy them all. <laughs> They'll be cheap, though. I don't it's not care. Like buying thirty-five dollars so. for three amiibo from for Splatoon, which I did. I did that yesterday. I went on a on an amiibo hunt. Got my Jigglypuff. Got my Greninja. Got a uh, Silver Mario, and then all my other ones were pre-ordered. I was. I've been keeping up so much with the amiibos, and it's been gradually decreasing as they became more and more difficult to obtain. I've basically broken down and like given up on the amiibos altogether by now. But the one I needed absolutely was Ness. And he's not available anywhere. Nope. He's going to be super rare. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I got the last uh, three pack that was at GameStop near my home. Yeah. So that was lucky. I don't I want to talk about Ami- I, I don't want to talk about Amiibo, but since we're <laughs> on the subject, how many new Amiibo announcements are we going to get at this E3? Star Fox. I think that's a, a definite. Lot. Yeah. Um, whatever. We might talk about. The I ones think they're going back. to be interesting um, uses for Amiibo in Mario Maker, like legitimate Ooh. actual uses for Amiibo that are going to be like, this gives you a theme that you can use on your stage. Like certain oh, certain amiibo, crazy. like they'll they'll be able to use it for that, um, and I think that is actually like a, a killer use for amiibo in a game that's what all. What if? What if they made it so that you could like play as Luigi, Peach, and Toad in their Super Mario Two kind of like Ooh, statistics? That would so like be cool. They're, they're, yeah, that's good. That's a good uh, one. You know, that'd be cool. Uh, or if you could like. Uh, I, it's hard for me to imagine like any other character appearing in the game aside from those guys, but that's a good idea because I, I always forget that Super Mario 2 is part of that game. So they, they could... Wait a minute. No, it's not. Uh, but still, they, but you could you could do it though. Yeah, like their properties would be fun to have even if yeah. the uh, mechanics aren't the same. Speaking of um, Amiibo support, I expect them to release more... Uh, actually, wait, this doesn't tie in directly. Sorry. I just... Was thinking of Mario. Well, we are the masters of on topic in this show, as you <laughs> come to know. So, do you think um, there's going to be more? I Mario expect Kart? them to release more Mario Kart 8 DLC. That's all. Okay. And if I had to like pick something to expect it to be, I'd say Kirby is pretty likely. You know, oh, so you mean more more characters, not just more maps? I'd like both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there room on it for the for, on the menu though? Is the room for it on the menu? They could they could always just make the icons a little bit smaller. No, yeah. no. 
<laughs> or or maybe or, what a or maybe you could idea. extend oh look Zyber's still here or you could uh, extend <laughs> it like a one more to the side and add like seven more characters that way or whatever you make way too big of a deal out of stuff like that to be honest with you I, I think part of why I keep thinking Kirby is a, a likely choice for more DLC is because of that trailer the Rosalina trailer yeah yeah, the, yeah. I wanted it to be a thing from that trailer but turned out yeah, I was, was just I was very I was very confused by that trailer when I first yeah. saw it I'm like wait is like, this why Mario are there Kart why are they on on Rainbow Road racing around yeah. this is Smash yeah. Bros <laughs> I'd be a little bit um I'd have mixed feelings about it just because I still want to hold out hope for the potential Kirby Air Ride sequel um, someday that, but that it would have to be, be a... like Sakurai right and he's not gonna do yeah. that because he Sakurai, hates making sequels <laughs> did he make that game yeah I didn't even yeah. know that. I, th- I knew members of his team had definitely been a part of it because that's how they designed, um, you know, the... Uh, the UI the, was the same. Yeah, yeah, it was very, um, very... Sakurai is very predictable when it comes to UI and, like, how you unlock things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, the achievement screen was the same, too. Yep. Yeah, I was, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say that because it just it felt like... Oh, well, the, the, the achievements thing was the same. Well, that's not that big of a detail, but... Uh, anyway, um, so we got Animal Crossing, probably. A Mario Kart DLC, you think? Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I feel like I feel like it's kind of run its course. And people, people started talking about Mario Kart again when the first pack came out, but I'm not sure the effect was the same for the second pack. People talked about it for a couple days, and then it was sort of over. It's true. Um, it feels like Mario Kart 8 as a game has probably run its course in terms of being uh, like a super popular online game. I feel like sh- the 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 um, sh- the focus has shifted to Splatoon and Smash Brothers. Uh, but I definitely think we'll get more Smash Brothers DLC announcements. That would be one of my predictions. Um, let's see. Wolf, I think, is coming back. I think Wolf is going to make a return. Who else? So far, all the DLC characters have actually been characters who have been in Smash games before. I assume, I assume you've well noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. But what about what about an Inkling? Do you think that could possibly happen? Mm, no. No. Why? I just think if they're spending time on characters like Lucas and Wolf and whatever they do for the Smash ballot, which I guess... If Inkling was the one voted for the Smash Well, see, ballot, that, that's then. my thing, is I think Inkling is probably going to be taking over the I Smash Ballot at this will. point. I don't think it will. Yeah. I didn't get the impression that, like... I, I don't know. I saw a lot of early like people making charts for what was seeming to be the most voted, and Inkling never seemed to be quite up there. I mean, I'd love Inkling in. And... Anyway, if it was like voted in, I think it would probably take longer before they'd announce it. Yeah, definitely um, not. E3, I mean, that's I that's think. possible, but I mean, how how soon do you think they knew they were going to do Mewtwo? I mean, what is what did Sakurai say? Like, how long does it take to do one character? Like five months or something? Three months. Um, I don't so, remember. So I don't, yeah, it, it, who knows? Who knows how long it could take? Um, but I I'm not saying it's going to be out like day of. Yeah, like I think I think. Um, you know they're they're going to talk about Lucas and Wolf, and they'll be like, "Yeah, Wolf is coming in September," or, and then we have Inkling, and he's coming in November or something. Like, I feel like that's totally reasonable, um, and it's a good way to extend the life of a game out to a year after it's been released. So that's mine. Smash DLC. I mean, I'm having trouble thinking of other game franchises to bring back. I mean, Metroid's well, so, been a while, right? So, so, so uh, let me let me go ahead and just jog everyone's memory with some of my predictions from the other show. I predicted a uh, Metroid for 3DS this year that Next Level mm-hmm. Games was working on. Uh, the Retro Studios project, whatever it is, I think it's going to make an appearance at this show. Um, yeah. I said Paper Mario next year, first quarter. Okay, yeah. I've been... That was something I specifically wrote down. They... I am... Ah, I really hope that they bring us a decent Paper Mario, like a proper sequel to Thousand Year Door. We're due. We're 11 years overdue. Seriously. And for Wii U, I assume? Yeah, I think so. I would, after the mess that was Sticker Star. (laughs) If you'll notice, uh, with the exception of the DS and the Game Boy Advance, since the Nintendo 64, there has been a Paper Mario game on every Nintendo console. 
so they, in fact, oh. there's been a there's been a Mario RPG on every Nintendo home console since the Super Nintendo. So they're probably going to do one for Wii U as well. And I think Paper Mario is a good candidate for it. You know, it'd be beautiful if they put it on Wii U because look what they're doing with the uh, other material looking games that they're putting out with Kirby, Kirby and Yoshi. Yoshi. So yeah. good. I mean, even Sticker Star looked really good on 3DS. I was pretty impressed by that aspect of it. So I could only imagine what they could do with the Wii U. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, oh, one other thing I wanted to predict while we're on the subject of predicting things. I think they're going to start bringing uh, 3DS stages to the Wii U version of Smash. Actually, it's not really a prediction. It's just something I want. So give me that. Because mm, the, 3D, the 3DS has some really nice stages that I want in the Wii U version because I'm tired of playing the 3DS version when I want to play those. Yeah. Huh, I don't know. I don't think that's <laughs> I feel like you I feel like you've had that reaction to all my predictions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not well, I'm uh, guessing you guessed Animal Crossing. Right? Yeah, Animal Crossing was one of them for sure. So, um I don't know. Zyber, what's one of yours? Let's let's hear it. Give me a good one. Um Well, I think they're going to announce when the Lucas DLC for Smash Bros Did will be. Did they not already announce that officially? I think all no, they said was June. June, right? Uh, I'm yeah. trying to find it. And I'm thinking they're going to reveal more info about the cards and the cards that they're going to have as amiibos. Yeah. Do you think other franchises are going to be brought into that? The whole cards thing? Oh, I hope not. I really hope not. I don't know. Like, they already showed that they're going to do some for the Animal Crossing game. Will they do Pokemon? No. No. I don't think so. They already have, they already have Pokemon cards. Like that's an could, uh, is that a Nintendo property or is that like Amiibo? That's not Nintendo. It's kind of a blurred line. I mean, Nintendo owns like a large portion of the Pokemon company, but I don't know. Did they do um? How many figures did they end up doing for Pokemon Rumble World? Do you know? Oh, um, let me think. I just I don't feel like it's a completely like reasonable thing to expect them to put out just a bunch of Pokemon amiibo. It's just uh, it, it. picturing it in my mind. I feel like they made like around like 12 or something. Yeah, I just I don't see how there would ever be a market for a Garbodor amiibo or anything like that. You know, <laughs> I mean, I'd buy one because I'd, I'd buy they make them all. figures of like practically every Pokemon. So I don't know. I mean, that's the thing about the cards is that it's a lot easier to manufacture those. So if they wanted to do 700, uh, I don't know how many Pokemon there are now. How many? 719? Like 21? No, oh. a few more. Yes, there's 21 Pokemon. Get out of here, Gen, get <laughs> well, out of here, Gen 721. I think. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. What other what other franchises I just, have we not I, touched on? I, like this is this is like nightmare stuff for me. Like it's just like <laughs> this is what I have nightmares about. Like <laughs> I actually had a nightmare one time that Nintendo announced an amiibo, and like I went to go pre-order it, and they're like, "Sorry, this is for um this is for Nintendo employees only." I saw. <laughs> I'm not going to go into this. What? Um, on a different note. Oh, you're not I can kidding. see okay. them releasing amiibo cards for something like, like I don't know, like a like if they release like a new Punch Out game, which is a a potential prediction of mine. People, a lot of people have been saying that actually. Yeah, I could see them releasing like cards of the different like fighters. I could see them reprinting Little Mac for it, which would be make a lot of yeah, scalpers very upset. Apparently, Little Mac is like the holy grail of amiibo, and I'm like, I'm looking at mine really? right now. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. So, I wonder if they're going to uh, address the Amiibo situation at all, like in nope. terms of how... No, you don't think so? <laughs> no. Nope. You don't think they're going to be like, and we're going to reprint all of these for a second run because... Reasons. I have very little faith in their ability to remedy the Amiibo situation. <laughs> we actually... There, there was a user question a while back that I wanted to talk about. This isn't really the show for it, but um, in, in the future, we'll definitely do it. Uh, how to fix the current Amiibo situation. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like Nintendo is like, okay, here we have these money making machines. Let's not produce a lot of them. I, I just don't, I don't understand their mentality. Like, why would they not want to make more? I don't think it's a thing make... about wanting. I think it's just their ability to do it. That just seems weird to me. I mean, I know that you say they don't have the infrastructure of a toy company, but it just, I don't know. I, I don't understand if you're making all this money, why not invest more money in getting some actual 
manufacturing facilities that well, can I'm do this stuff for you. I'm guessing that they considered Amiibo as a risk at the start, and so they didn't really try that hard to produce a large quantity. But if you think about it, they've severely reduced the amount of loss they can take on... Like, they're not going to end up with like a large inventory of extras that they haven't sold yet because, well, they haven't made that much. So... Well, right, but why do they? My, my question is, why do they keep treating it as a risk? They've already sold ten million of them, like as of April or whatever. I mean, we're seven months into this thing, and it it, it doesn't feel like it's getting better. Well, I there's mean, the, such a large volume of like there's a large amount of unique figures that they've set out to produce, and they keep adding to that. So I feel like all of the resources that they would put into making more of the ones that exist, they're pouring those resources into even more figures and it's like well mm. Disney Infinity doesn't come out with figures that quickly and that's why they're able to keep them in stock but maybe Nintendo it's just like here's a new figure here's wave 4 here's wave 5 here's Yoshi here's n- the next whatever and it's just like you guys gotta calm down if you want to be able to get these in the hands of the people that want them yeah that does make sense um, yeah yeah I, I actually I agree with that. that that makes a lot of sense when you explain it that way so but so, but you don't believe they're going to even mention it at, at all. In uh, they'll probably say, "We're sorry. Please understand." Please understand. <laughs> yeah, please understand that I had to get up at three thirty in the morning just to get a freaking silver painted Mario that I already own. <laughs> <laughs> you got the gold one, didn't you? I do have the gold so one. So why I got get the, the silver one? Because it's silver and gold. <laughs> <laughs> you just <laughs> needed metal Mario, mentality. didn't you? This is a collector's mentality right here. Actually, it's not officially Metal Mario. I think. Yeah, it but it's cool. Metal Mario. It would have been cooler if they had marketed it that way. Yeah. But uh, yeah. what is Gold Mario anyway? There's never been a Gold Mario. Probably it's just Oscar Mario. Super Mario Bros. Two. Wait, what? Oscar Yeah, the Gold Mario from Super Mario Bros. with all the coins. Oh yeah. Oh wow! I totally forgot about that. All right. That's a game that exists. Oh, well, there. Yeah. <laughs> screw that franchise. Um, <laughs> and Silver Mario is almost Metal Mario. Close I, enough. I guess. So smartphones is obviously going to be there, right? No. Shut up. So you wait, you think you wait, you actually think smartphones is going to be there? Yeah. I I used to, I used to, but I changed my mind. I don't think they're going to show it at all. Oh, I thought they made an official announcement that because they they made an official announcement that they weren't going to show it. Oh, did they? (laughs) I I don't think there's going to, I mean, it's different than the Zelda one, which I think is still going to happen because I think they're going to break that out to surprise like, and be like, Oh, but here (laughs) it actually is. Or did you think they just did that so that they wouldn't? It, just in case they didn't get something done for E3, they, they had I, that that's to That's exactly back on. what I think. That's exactly what I think they did. Just in case they didn't uh, have a trailer ready or something like that. Uh, I can almost believe that. So did we? Did we have a bet, Hex, that that they were going to show something substantial of Zelda? I can't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, we had to go back in the archives. Hey, uh, listeners, go back and figure out if I had a bet with Spiegel about. Yeah, so, someone get I on that. I think you did. <laughs> All right. Well, Smear will be the official judge. Um, <laughs> so I say Zelda will be at E3 in some some substantial capacity, like a trailer or like, you know, more than just like a picture of Fi or something, um, like a trailer or something like that. Omni says no. Yeah, I say, I say there will be no Zelda presence whatsoever. I don't actually believe that, though. I feel like they might say, here's a picture. Well. Like, like I don't think there's going to be a trailer. Here's a I, question. Will there be more Zelda at this E3 or more PlayStation Vita? <laughs> I have no idea. The but, answer um, is neither. <laughs> <laughs> here's a here's an idea. What about a new 3DS Zelda? Uh, do you, do you think it's like too it's, early for that? I feel like it's a little too soon. I mean, we haven't yeah. even we haven't had a console one in now four years, and uh, or three years or four years. I can't remember, but um, they, I mean, I don't know. Link Between Worlds is just, it still feels so fresh to me. Like when I think about it, I feel that like it was just came what out. Year, what was, that 2013, was 2013, 13, okay, 13. Yeah. Cause it came out the same day as Super Mario 3D World, which what a one, two punch that was, by the way. Do, hmm. how, how often do they put out handheld games? Like what well, was the, the, the gap between Minish Phantom Cap, Hourglass two, Minish Gear Cap 2005, Phantom Hourglass 2007, Spirit Treks 2009, and then A Link Between Worlds, actually, I think. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Hmm. So uh, 2013, so that was a four-year gap. Well, I know for Spirit Treks, they didn't have to produce a lot more new assets because they recycled the the graphics, or at least 
the style so they didn't have to build something from the ground up do you think they would do something like that as like a, a sequel to Link's Awakening or something like that mm. like using the Link Between Worlds graphic style I'm thinking someone say something <laughs> I, I don't think that why do I not get time why do I not get time to think about anything because um, you're always talking yeah basically oh well, well okay <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you needed to think. I thought you just said what you thought. So I guess Honestly, you're not thinking a at lot all. Of my th- a lot of my thoughts are predetermined. So like when you say a trigger word, like handheld 3Ds, uh, ha- excuse me, when you say handheld Zelda, I'm like, okay, this is why it's not going to happen. Because <laughs> I just know it's just like in there. It's in my brain. Hashtag triggered. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I think it's too soon. Um, and especially with the new Zelda coming out, like I don't think they'd pull a Metroid and be like, here's Metroid Prime and Fusion on the same day. Like, I, that just doesn't seem like something that the Zelda teams would do. Yeah. They will have any Star Fox information. Oh, of course. I'm sure Star Fox yeah. will be uh, appearing. They need Actually, Star Fox. Actually, an interesting topic of conversation that I always thought about Star Fox was, like, for especially for this particular version, like, are they going to try to make it their big game for E3? Yes. Like, so they're going to try to turn it into this big deal that is going to try to take over E3 like they did with Smash Brothers the other year and then Splatoon and all that? Yes. Did they really use Splatoon to make it free? I think oh, Splatoon yeah. was yeah, the that big was a surprise. Huge presence. Yeah, I think Definitely. it was huge, and it, it carried over. The, I the do hype anticipate. Is real. I do anticipate that they would have one new game that they haven't talked about at all, and they might make that a big presence as well, kind of like what they did with Splatoon. I think they realized the strategy. I do think Star Fox is going to be a large presence for them this year. It's going to be interesting to see yeah. how they present it. Like, are they going to be like? Yeah, like, because are they gonna are they gonna close the show with it? Are they gonna open with it? I mean, I just don't I don't see Star Fox as being this big franchise that's well, that's the thing. It's like they've never really celebrated Star Fox to that degree, even to the degree that they did for Splatoon. So exactly, will they really try to like parade around Star Fox as like it's back, it's better than ever, and we're like really invested in this, or because they invested a lot of marketing power into Splatoon. They would really have to like they they'd have to come up with something big for it because you can't just you can't just announce it as quietly as you did last year and then kind of do the same thing again this year and be like and here's the game you have to really like yeah like it's because it's not a surprise we know it's coming so you have to do something big you can't close the show with it because it's not a surprise unless you do yeah. something big what I think is gonna because ha- because I've never been excited about the Star Fox franchise in the past so I'm wondering if they're going to try because to because basically- it sucks. I wonder if they're going to try to get people who aren't ordinarily excited about Star Fox excited about this one for some reason. Like, is there going to be some sort of twist that makes this Star Fox more, like, mainstream marketable? I don't know. Well, they have said that it's going to be, like, episodic. Or they, they said they wanted to make it like that. Do you guys have any thoughts on, like, how they they're going to... they say gonna... that? Uh, I've heard something like that in the past. Um, hmm. So if they did do it in episodic style, how do you think they would roll that out? How do you think they would uh, go about promoting that? I have no idea. I mean, I are you saying like Telltale Games episodic? I, I mean, is there another model that I'm not aware of? I'm Telltale pretty much. <laughs> Telltale pretty Sonic much does four, Sonic. I guess. What? I, I'm not aware. Sonic of Four episode one and two, <laughs> and then nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I so mean, feel feel free to chime in. They um, did they did kind of conceptualize Star Fox based on like a stop motion television show, didn't they? Yes. So I like wonder puppets. if they tried to spin the tone of the franchise more towards some sort of sci fi television show. Like, will they try to reinvent Star Fox? I wouldn't mind. I mean, it's a, it's a franchise that has been in need, of, in need of a reboot probably more than any other franchise that Nintendo has. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, I, I don't know. It's going to be really fascinating to see what they try to do I with predict it. that people won't like, like a lot of, like the way they present Star Fox that's will be not very that, divisive. That's not that bold of a prediction to be honest like, with you. <laughs> like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of controversy in the style of the, of the game or something like that. Is it going to be cell shaded Um... <laughs> I don't know. Is it going to be stop motion? (laughs) (laughs) Would you play Uh, a stop motion Star Fox game? (laughs) I would play a Star Fox game. I don't care what it is. People get so people get so worked up about style, and it's like it's a part of a game, but it's not like the main thing. 
Isn't that the question that won you this thing, Smear? Like, how yeah, did, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, kind of. That's that's a big part of it. Yeah, we talked about how important uh, style was, and like, and characters, and story, and music, and gameplay, and stuff. And that's that's ironic that it kind of comes full circle right now. <laughs> what other franchises have we not talked about that we feel like is oh, um, kind of dormant, but is like generational, like Zelda and Mario? Pokemon hasn't really been mentioned. You talked about okay. Pokemon Amiibo. I've been meaning to bring something up. So, a Pokemon game was actually very quietly announced the other day. Super Mystery Dungeon. Oh, but they yeah. they didn't tell us anything about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll probably be there for sure. Um, yeah, I hope so. I didn't I've been th- a long time fan that. of that series. So, I really hope they fix it. <laughs> yeah, I don't love the Mystery Dungeon games. I find them to be very dull and plodding. But uh, they, they definitely have a market. But um, in terms of like an actual uh, like po- like maybe Puck and Fighters maybe making an appearance. Oh yeah, Puck like uh, that's been due to no, be announced Pockin. for Wii. U. It's Pockin. Yeah, that's how they like say te- it. It's like Tekken. It's like, like Pocket Mon- Pocket Monsters plus Tekken. But it's Pokemon. Pokemon. No, it's po- po- it's, it's actually Pokemon. But I got po- Poke and Pokemon. Poke and Fighters. Poke Pokemon. Poke. Poke- Poke- uh, leave us Pokin. a comment. How do you pronounce it? Yeah, I say Pokken. Like, like Pokken sounds like some sort of wafer stick dipped in yeah. chocolate. Love those. So good. So good. This is now about Pocky. Fine welcome to Pocky Podcast. Welcome to, welcome podcast. to Pocky, Pocky Cast. Episode one. I'm your host, RC <laughs> Omni. And with me, why, why hasn't someone stopped me yet? <laughs> Look, I, I can't just talk endlessly, okay? Someone else has to do something. So, uh, so, so are we going to have Mother Games announced? That's my prediction. Ah, Zyber, I doubt it. Mother hey. 1 through 3 remastered on Wii U. No, it's not going to yep. happen. Yep. Nope, I predict no. It's in the pipeline. <laughs> I think we'll at least get Mother 3. I don't know about the first one. Who, I, don't, I nobody... predict not. I predict Reggie will make fun of Mother 3 fans again. I think it would be great if they did. Yeah, I could see that. I <laughs> could predict both of them happening at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> actually. Uh, <laughs> that, no, that, that is going to happen, yeah. You think it's going to be Robot Chicken again? <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. That was funny last year. Yeah. That's some good stuff good. with that. I do like... Can we talk about the, their like format for these events now? The do you like? Event? Do you generally like them better than the, than the uh, press conferences? They're more rewatchable. Well, they're about the same for me. Yeah. So, Retro Studios, do you think that they're working on Donkey Kong again? Do you think they're working on Metroid? Something new? It's hard to predict because they've only ever worked on Metroid and Donkey Kong. So, so like I like I said, um, actually, I had a prediction last year, uh, and like I said, I do think that they're they're going to reveal their project this year. And I think, drum roll, please, I don't think I ever said this on the show, so this is going to be a new prediction to everybody. Maybe it's going to be that sequel to Diddy Kong Racing that was rumored last year. Hmm. They have they have their hands in uh, Mario Kart occasionally. They designed a couple stages or maps and uh they've done donkey kong so they know how to like create fur i guess <laughs> so they could do diddy kong racing 2 or donkey kong racing though you know that gamecube project that was canceled and eventually turned into barrel blast which was garbage they have still not added diddy kong even with all these opportunities that's the other thing no diddy kong in mario kart i always thought that was telling um, did you really I did. I've said, I said that last year. I'm like, why is there no Diddy Kong in Mario Kart? Oh, because this there's just this in rumor. Petey Piranha Kart coming 2016. That is not <laughs> the same thing. Petey Piranha is not <laughs> half the character that Diddy Kong is. Diddy Kong is in like every Donkey Kong game. He's in Smash Brothers. Why would he not be in Mario Kart? Because they wanted all seven Koopalings. Unless, unless they announce like Mario Kart DLC. Shut up about the Koopalings. <laughs> we, need, we really need all seven of you unique characters. Oh, and five babies too. I could, I could complain about Mario Kart 8's. I didn't say I wanted all, all seven Kooplings. I just said they they wanted to put them in, and that's I know seven for slots, some so. reason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what do you think? Diddy Kong Racing two, maybe? Uh, Possibly. There you go again with the N. <laughs> Why? Why do you do that? It's too radical. It's just too weird. Uh, that's the that's the craziest prediction I have. I think. Okay. And I think it's. I I haven't brought it up just because it's it seemed too crazy. But I feel like I'm ready to put it out there, and I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my uh, reputation on the line. As if I had a reputation, and say Diddy Kong Racing Two is happening, and it will be out summer next year. Boom. Okay. I have, here's a stupid prediction. You want to start putting out stupid predictions? I already, I already got a stupid prediction. Go. Uh, hey, you Pikachu, 
again. <laughs> that is stupid. <laughs> I think Pokemon Snap U is much more likely, and that's also not happening. Sorry, that. everybody. They're yeah. never going to do it, but everyone wants it. It's another one of those things that just like everyone wants Nintendo to do it, but they're just not going to do it. They might so, make fun of it. That'd be great. That would be that is due for a, a joke, I think. <laughs> I saw someone. I saw a comment that I thought was pretty funny. Someone said that they expect them to reveal a new Mario game at the end of the Nintendo World Championship to mirror the scene oh, in the Wizard. That would be very cool. Uh, will, that's an, inter- that's will an interesting it be new thought. Super Mario, then. I don't know. I guess because it's too early for like a 3D Mario. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really feel like the right time. Well, hold for on, a new Mario why is it too early for a new 3D Mario? Do you consider Super Mario 3D World to be a true 3D Mario? Yes, uh, we've talked about. This. I do. It was Have made we? by the team that does true 3D okay, Mario games. Fine, fine, but it's not Galaxy style. It's not so Mario what? 64 style. I'm just saying that my <laughs> point. My point is why? Why is that such a radical possibility? Because they're all the 3D games are different. Because the team that works on 3D World would be the one responsible. Uh, I just I don't know I don't I don't think I agree with you I think I don't think that just because Super Mario 3D World came out they feel like the audience is satisfied with it's like, not about what the audience wants it's about what they're capable of doing in a certain time frame it's just too early for another game I'm not saying it's coming out this year why does it have to come out this year well it's generational right no I mean if they wanted to make a new one like what they did Mario Galaxy and then Mario Galaxy 2 but that's because they could recycle assets if they wanted to do another one in the same generation, they probably would have to do another one like 3D World. And I, uh, I'm sure they've yeah. exhausted the uh, ideas they had for 3D World, given how short-lived all of the ideas in that game were. Like, every every level was a new idea, basically. Yeah. And then recycled in, like, the, the last three worlds, so... But I, I'm... So what do you think, Smear? Do you think that that is... Is that something that you are officially getting on board with and saying this is going to happen? Oh, I think it's too soon to announce a new 3D Mario. All right, I mean, forget all you people. <laughs> <laughs> new Super Mario Brothers, I can believe, but not 3D. Or maybe just a 2D one. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I just don't want another new Super Mario Brothers. Maybe Bros, it's Super though. Mario Brothers 3 Remastered. <laughs> which, uh, which Mario game have they not like recycled up to this well, point? Like Each one is kind of themed after one of the older ones. When so, you say recycled, what do you mean exactly? Like, conceptually, the Tanuki suit was from what game? Three? Mario 3? Three, three. Yeah. Three. So, they haven't really touched too much yeah. aside from 3D it's World not even taking Mario off characters. I know, yeah, but, they, but it became canon, and like that's where Shy Guy came from, that's where Birdo came yeah. from. So, it's like they could take those concepts and bring them into a modern Mario context, I think. Oh, well, Super Mario Advance. Could mess along with that stuff. Um, yeah. Speaking of classic games, let's do one more round of predicting, and let that let's let's see what are they going to do about their uh, their Club Nintendo replacement. Are they going to talk about that today Ooh, or t- I think today? So. Are they going to talk about that at E three? I think so. I think they will. Maybe. Uh, and do you think it's going to have anything to do with a virtual console subscription service, as rumored? Whoa, is that rumored? Mm. Uh, I, I well. When I say rumored, I mean often bandied about, like similar to the Nintendo Fusion console, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I don't think so. I I think it'll basically just be a more streamlined, better integrated way to give people rewards for the games that they purchase, as well as that whole unified platform for stuff like s- smartphones and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they'll do anything crazy, and it'll probably be lacking, just like every other thing they do online, right? Wow. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm pretty much done with predictions. I have nothing else in my brain. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I've already I've only I've got four cleaned, hours of sleep. I've cleaned out most of my uh, most of mine, uh, both in this yeah. show and in Effortless. Go listen to Effortless. Um, I've got a couple notes. Yeah, on. go. Go. Um, well, I really hope... That they announce like a localization of the Rhythm Heaven collection because Ooh. they still haven't done that. They did a collection. They, done... they are releasing something called Rhythm Heaven, like the best in Japan, and it's it's a collection of the games of the previous titles plus like a bunch of extra new ones for 3DS. I think. Oh, it's for 3DS. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, I could get on board with that. I mean, I already have Rhythm Heaven for DS. Um, I never played Rhythm Heaven Fever. It was good. I should but, get uh, that game. I really like those styles of games, the rhythm games, the, the, the really Japanese ones. Like, I'd probably be interested in Hatsune Miku Project Hirai if it wasn't so strange looking. <laughs> also, also, it got mysteriously delayed for like four months. Like, we, we learned about this on the day that it was supposed to come out at my job. They're like, oh, by the way, Hatsune Miku got delayed four months. People were coming in to pick up their pre-orders and were like, we don't have the game. We won't have it for four months. Uh, they were very upset, as uh, anime fans are wont to do. <laughs> Oops. So, like, do we have any like 3DS games announced or anything coming up? This this could be a big E3 for the 3DS. Like, we yeah, don't really know about true. anything. It might even be like more of a 3DS year than a Wii U year. I'm kind just of because so. there wasn't I mean, a lot last year. We know about Fire Emblem. Uh, what are we yeah. going to see? Like remasters announced maybe for uh for like games that were on gamecube or whatever for 3ds like they're doing with majora's mask twilight and princess xenoblade 3D. and twilight princess like was rumored but it was fake as usual uh, thanks omni port. just port it i mean it's easy i'd rather that be the wii u hd game yeah but it won't be i don't think they're gonna remake zelda games for wii u except you know, they already did wind waker like i don't think they would do another one yeah they wouldn't yeah. well, i don't really i'm like super confident about that <laughs> Uh, by the way, can I just say that my OCD self was very happy they didn't do Majora's Mask on Wii U. I would have been very upset to have Ocarina yeah. of Time on 3DS, but not Majora's Mask. Yeah. I could talk so. at length on why that makes no sense to put the Majora's Mask on Wii U, but I won't because we're, I'm we're out of time. Because we, because we already have. Yeah. I'm more interested in how I like it. It was huge hype that it was finally coming to 3DS, and then a week later, no one talked about it. Well, maybe two weeks. And also, um, we should mention new 3DS exclusives. Uh, man, there's so much stuff that I felt like we had already covered, but we haven't really covered anything at all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's just so many possibilities like for just stuff that could happen. Uh, you know, you have Amiibo, you have two consoles, basically three consoles to support at this point if you're talking about new exclusives. Virtual consoles, the subscription service that I was talking about. Games that we don't know about. Games that we do know about. And, and they're going to try to do this in like 45 to 50 minutes. That's usually how long these press events are. I can't think of 3DS games that haven't been done yet, like franchises, because that that library is already pretty full. So Yeah. I really hope... I mean, this is absolutely not going to happen. I'm pretty sincerely sure of that fact. But I really, really want a Kid Icarus Wii U. Like, I can't wait another 25 years for another Kid Icarus game. <laughs> Would Sakurai do another one is the question, or would they let someone else do it? I think I Sakurai know. is like going to retire from games because he's just <laughs> he's so, so he's, young, though. He's so depressed, like, though. Like Every time yeah. he, he does an interview, he's like, I'm so sad, and my arm doesn't work, and people hate my games. <laughs> my arm doesn't work. He'll probably take a break. <laughs> he just oh, needs gosh. some time off. He needs a trip to Hawaii or something. <laughs> but then, the, then the Islanders will be like, why didn't you include this character in the game like he probably everyone probably knows who he is he's probably like one of the most famous gaming uh game creator like he's wow, he's probably yeah. up there with like kojima and miyamoto isn't he yeah he probably is he's because he's so visible around his games like everyone knows it's him yeah, yeah. so because he probably doesn't all look the same he probably can't get any piece people are like why didn't you put mewtwo in the game initially people like, something i don't people know. like why would you do inklings they already look like they're in smash brothers what does that even mean? It's Smashified. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like I know a little bit of what Sakurai feels like when I do Smashified stuff. Oh, I see, I see what you mean. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. So um, I think this is a good time to wrap up. Yeah. Any more last minute predictions? Just want to throw them out there and so you can have them on record. Um, I do um, not care about the other ones. On, like the I'm other looking companies. around the room. Um, I have a few notes on other companies. All right. If you want, if you want to do other companies, yeah, shoot. Uh, well, there have been rumors of that, like that game company, which are the people who made like Flower and Journey, are going to release a new game Ooh. because there's been like a three year gap between all their previous games, and we're coming up on that now. Hmm. Um, they they, they make good stuff. I'd be interested to. I'll keep an eye out for that for sure. I am hoping for a new trailer for the Ratchet and Clank movie. Do you oh, really yeah. think they? Do you really think they'd show a movie at a press conference? I think they could. They could. Well, I, they I were don't know bragging be... about like the the Halo television, like Xbox oh, series. Yeah. Remember? I remember that garbage. 
And you remember when they were making a Halo movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Video game movies. Nintendo announces uh, Pikmin shorts three through six. I hope so. Those were good. Those were great. I liked those. Nintendo announces a Netflix television series for Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You know that that Minish recap got a lot of views, strangely. Yeah. I don't know what people were expecting to see when they Googled it or when they searched for it on YouTube. Like, oh, look, it's a trailer. Oh, no, it's just a podcast <laughs> or something. Like, most <laughs> after that rumor, my brother-in-law is all like, oh, hey, did you hear about this? I'm all like, yeah. People still ask me about that. Like, hey, what do you think of the Zelda Netflix thing? And I'm like, go watch my <laughs> YouTube channel, you jerks. Support, <laughs> support my endeavors. I support you. <laughs> what? How do you support them? That's not important. I just went on one of my friend's laptops and just went to YouTube and had her subscribe to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's where all of our subscribers are coming from. Oh, we've actually seen a pretty good increase recently, like just steady stream of people subscribing to the channel. So thank you all for doing that because it means a lot to m- me. I don't know if it means anything to these people. <laughs> You're welcome. You mean nothing to Omni. I know that. He has all the people he could ever need. <laughs> Go check out Omni's stuff. It's great. Uh, th- by the time this is up, maybe his new Smashified will also be up. What? Maybe? It, Ma- it maybe is? not? What are you talking Wait, about? What? The what? one I did one today. What? When, it's I already didn't, up. I didn't even <laughs> see it. I was oh, talking God. about Inklings. Oh, that is embarrassing. Okay. Oh. Well, I didn't see it. I did not see it. There's two. So that is... Uh, okay. Well. That why, that's why that, that joke I made didn't resonate with you. Well, no yeah. wonder that joke wasn't funny to me and why it didn't make sense. Okay. Well, I egg all over my face, I guess. Don't worry, Omni. I watched it. Yay. Well, I would watch it, but I have to go to work, which is why we're rapping so rapidly. Rapidly. We've been rapping for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, but most of the show I just treat as if it's just one big rap, and I'm like, okay, we're going to rap now, and it's going to be over. <laughs> I treat this show like it's one big intro. This is a not, huge rap battle going not, on. Not actual rap like Todd does. Episode I'll 31, t- rapping podcast. You ready? Like we're, rapping, we should do like a, paper. We should do a show that's just like, hey, everybody, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, because, I don't know, maybe it'll get you on the show one day, and you'll get to make some silly predictions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, we should make this uh, a thing. I think it was fun. I wouldn't mind if, I wouldn't mind if you, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind if you came back. Oh, I'd love to. Anytime. Yeah, I've not, got like did, the did whole have, summer out of me. Did you have fun listening to me and how many talk back and forth? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's the best, I do it, it all day anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much for being on. Um, and thank you to any future guests that we have on because you got involved in our channel. If you comment and you're really devoted, there's a good chance we'll get you on. You know, even if even if you're terrible, we'll try to have you on at least once just for just for being great and being a good fan and supporting us and all this stuff that we do. <laughs> And um, go check out Space Pirate Radio because at this point it's not being very, it's not very popular, but it's awesome. What is and Space Pirate Radio? Space Pirate Radio is a show that we do here on the ZB Network where <laughs> you listen to video game music selected by our lovely hosts, which Zyber is doing one, and I've done a couple, and we have more people doing them in the future. So keep an eye out for more Space Pirate Radio. You're listening to the ZB Network in space. 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 Space, 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 space. space. I right. love that we both did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so that's it for us. Uh, leave us your comments with your <laughs> predictions for E3. Get rapping. some, get some crazy stuff in there. Hey, I'm just trying to tie it all together. <laughs> and if you Everyone don't went over Twitter stuff, right? Oh yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter at Spiegelwee. Follow Omni at Artsy Omni. Follow Smeerg at. Is it just smeared? It's just smeared. S M S M E A R G. Follow Zyber at no Twitter account. <laughs> okay. Uh, follow him at. I, I'm not going to say the name of your company because okay. that would be. That Are would we done? Are we done now? We've been done. For, the intro music is over already. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, bye. 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 Thanks. You're welcome. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha.